Hi everyone, welcome to my tasting room. I am not drinking alone. As you see, I have my, my handy dandy gnomes because it's almost, we're almost out of November. And I'm really, really sad because it feels like this whole year has been one long season. So why not be November? But we still have holidays or special occasions that we need to try to somehow work into our days, even though most of us are um, staying alone in our homes and our celebrations are either parties of one or two, maybe three, but we certainly know they're under 10 people. And that is not the norm typically around the holidays. So how do you stay together while being apart? Well, I started doing these, um, these podcasts back in the beginning of the spring when everyone really was alone and I was by myself and I really missed my wine tribe. Um, as a wine fairy, you know, we love to be around people. So I was very, very sad and I started doing Zoom tastings. And people said, well, how can you do that? Um, especially how, how do they taste the wine if you're the only one that has the wine? But everyone has wine in their home. I mean, at least they should. Or you can have it delivered to your door as long as there's someone that's 21 that can sign for it. And I just wanted to give you a few ideas. So hello again, everyone. It is the Wine Fairy. And I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to stay together while being apart. One of my favorite ideas is have you and your friends all subscribe to the same wine club. So you'll all have the same wines in your home at the same time. And then get on one of the video platforms, Zoom or GoToMeeting, or even do a Skype call. You can do it through um, Facebook Messenger. There's so many technologies out there where you can connect. And you can explore those wines through um, this together while everyone has their own wine at home and you can discover and explore this wine club. You might want to do a series where you taste the first wine of the wine club together. Uh, you might want to cook the meal if there's a recipe that goes with that wine club uh, wine. Or you might each assign one of the wines in the wine club to each other. Uh, I might do the, the Chardonnay and you can do the Cabernet Sauvignon and someone else can do the dessert wine and do those recipes. And you can all cook together. There are different applications, even with Alexa Show or Google Home, where you can physically feel like you are there because through that video application, and then you'll have the extrasensory sensation of tasting that same wine and exploring and discussing the tasting notes. Another thing you can do is you can actually send wine or drop off wine as a wine fairy. And there's lots of suggestions on Pinterest. Um, even in YouTube, you can find different chronicles of other wine fairies out and about spreading cheer. Because let's face it, I'm full of the holiday spirit. It's called wine. So you can drop off wine with maybe a little note and maybe you don't even have the tasting notes of that wine, but you ask your friend or your surprised neighbor to join you on a call and you can talk about that wine and you'll discover some interesting things, maybe about the person that you gifted the wine to and maybe they in turn will gift wine to someone else. Another great idea is to select wine through a company like Wines for Humanity and select a charity and get everyone on board to purchase wine to raise funds for that charity and do your own like personal fundraiser online. You can do it in Facebook Live, 
you can all get together and really build that camaraderie around wine and charity, which is our core mission at Wines for Humanity. And you know, no one would ever blame you for doing these activities at home alone with your gnome and your wine. So these are just a few of my ideas to stay together and connect with people through like-minded causes and wonderful wines as we all shelter in place and get through the holidays in the safest way possible. This is the Wine Fairy, and please subscribe and like below. And remember, if it's wine and yourself, it's a party. Okay? Cheers.